an ultraviolet disclosing cream. So uh, if you put this onto your hands, if you imagine it's either alcohol gel or moisturising cream, the purpose of putting it on is to try and get as much coverage uh, as you can. If it was alcohol gel, the alcohol gel has to come into contact with all of the surfaces of the skin for it to be effective. So it doesn't evaporate like the gel will do, but um, put your hands under, under the light source now. See, when you're applying your moisturiser, you're not getting a lot here. And you're not getting a lot between the fingers on this hand. Are you left-handed by any chance? Yeah. I thought you might be. Um, because your left hand's done a much better job of cleaning your right <laughs> hand. But your right hand, being your non-dominant hand, hasn't reciprocated. Um, so it's really important that you get your right hand engaged in this and make it do a bit more work. Uh, so if you just try and get some, whilst your hands are under the sauce, if you try and put some cream onto all of the areas that are currently um, missed. And then when you've washed your hands, we'll, we'll get a, a true picture as to whether the same areas are missed when you're washing or if it's been adapted for. Cold water is better than hot, so if you've got a choice of hot or cold, go for cold. Uh, this is soap, so you need to wet your hands. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do when you wash your hands is wet your hands, and you take two or three squirts of soap because we've just put an oily product onto your skin, so make sure you've got enough soap. Then wash your hands however you would normally wash your hands, um, either at home or when you're at work. So. Ideally, what you want is to get a lather because it's the lather that's going to clean. So rinse your hands and then, just whenever you're ready, just turn the taps off um, and dry as, as thoroughly with as many paper towels as possible. So you do what you need to do to make sure your hands are dry at the end of the day. Your hands onto the under the UV source. This time, what we were hoping for that there would be no blue shiny glow because the blue shiny glow means that there is still potentially contamination present. Um, this time your left hand hasn't done quite as well as before either. Um, if you turn your palms over, you can see, again, down the side of here, across the knuckles of, of the base of the fingers, where you, where you get those dry, if you get any dry calloused areas, the cuticles, where the skin isn't in absolute pristine condition. And when you wash your hands, can I just give you a tip? What you need are lots of bubbles because it's the soap bubbles that actually lift the dirt away from the surface of the skin. So if you haven't got the bubbles, you're not going to really have a very effective hand wash.